this is a Leica M3 camera and today I'm going to show you how to adjust the shutter tension. Um, as, as you can see here, the, uh, the front shutter in this particular M3 uh, isn't closing properly. Uh, one of the things about Leica is, uh, that makes them great is the shutter is very quiet. Uh, it's quiet because the shutters are spring-loaded and uh, they're made out of cloth like this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take off the base plate, and you can see right here through the through the back door that the shutter itself uh, is actually partially open and it's not completely closed. I'm going to go ahead and take off the back door by relieving this uh, hinge right here and taking that back door off. Okay. And we'll go ahead and show you um, how the shutter currently lo looks. Normally, uh, older Leicas like this, uh, what happens inside the spring shutter um, is that the, the springs themselves will lose tension. And therefore, older Leica cameras, uh, these M's, uh, you have a very uh, distinctively uh, low uh, shutter um, noise. This particular one, you can see that's not even closing. Um, so we're going to go ahead and adjust that. I took the liberty of taking most of the screws out already in an M3. Uh, in an M3, there's there's uh, there's four screws. Um, I just left one on here. Let's take that out. Um, so go ahead and take that out. Okay. So here's the cover plate off and right there is the um, the uh, locking arm and you might have a little uh, uh, locking arm spacer as well and this is an M3 like I said uh, the nice thing is it has the old serial numbers uh, right in, in, in plated into the body uh, as well as the top um, which was nice but they stopped doing that in later ends um, so We'll get to the heart of the problem. Um, the actual shutter spring assembly looks like this inside. And the way it's cocked, uh, it's, it's cocked for tension um, using a uh, reverse thread. So what you want to do is we're going to use a uh, flat screwdriver here. This one's, uh, this one's about uh, two millimeters or so. And we're, this, this assembly here um, has a lock um, and a spring. And uh, this shutter tension adjustment bearing in here uh, needs to be pushed down and rotated, pushed down like so, and rotated counterclockwise in order to increase the tension. Now normally I would only advise moving this, this in quarter steps or half turns, but in this particular case, the, um, and you can already see materially that the shutter, the front shutter is closed a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and cock this double stroke. And now you can see that, well, it's actually closing a little bit better. And there's no gaps. We're going to just give it one more little little turn to make sure that uh, that tension is is good. And there you go. Now you'll see that uh, the actual shutter is closed properly uh, on both sides. And the only thing you want to do after that is just use a very strong light source. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, LCD light source um, and. Uh, shine it through the body and make sure that uh, I don't have any uh, light leaks um, from both sides. So we'll go ahead and show you, um, show you what it looks like now. Okay. And that was at the uh, one second. All right. Uh, so that is basically it in terms of the shutter adjustment. You can do this on uh, any M's uh, uh, up to the M4s. The M6 looks a little bit different, and, uh, but the basic principle is the same. 
Um, to the front of the camera, this is the uh, closing curtain take-up roller. And this is, uh, next to it on the right, is the opening uh, curtain uh, take-up roller. So you may need to adjust both. Um, in this particular case, I only needed to adjust the, uh, the, the front curtain or the closing curtain. So here it is again, the double stroke. Thanks for watching.